So you got a pretty voice. You're from America. Okay. You're better talking. Uh, all right, here you're, I go. Here you're, I go. You're, you're a friend. You've, you give, know. you've given me ideas you're of how to friend. introduce myself. Say action. Hello, everyone. Hey. I'm Sean Pierce Johnson. I'm here with uh, Stefan from Pedals Fusion, and uh, apparently I'm going to be introducing us because I'm from America and have yeah, a pretty voice. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> apparently. <laughs> apparently. Apparently. So I guess we're gonna we're gonna have some fun with uh, some pedals on the floor, uh, several of which I've never actually played before. Uh, we got a Zvex Sonar going first into a vintage Marshall, the Govna, which uh, is of course a very popular yeah. overdrive that Marshall did, followed by a Keeley Bubbletron, graciously loaned to us by Mr. Robert Keeley, yeah, yeah. wonderful man, and uh, a TC Electronic Flashback Delay, which, two. Uh, yeah, fa yeah, Flashback 2 with the MASH control, and uh, yeah, I've actually never played a Flashback. All right, here we go. <laughs> Thank you. 
It just doesn't want to stop. Yeah, yeah. Let's, uh, what, you got more toys? <laughs> oh, the dark more side. Toys. Dark side's my jam, people. The right. dark side is probably one of my favorite pedals that Keeley makes. Um, it kind of puts all the sounds that Gilmore got on Dark Side of the Moon uh, into one really simple package. Uh, the Big Muff style fuzz on it is great. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. They really play themselves. Instrument. Exactly. Yeah. That's, a, that's, I think, one of the things that really attracts me to effects is that you plug a few in and you start out with no idea where you're going. Yeah. I'm pretty sure I just wrote like three new riffs during this video. Uh, you know what? Uh, pedals makes the difference between uh, traditional guitar players and the one who want to be modern guitar players, you know? And I just show the TC guys <laughs> one trick with a uh, pedal at the first uh, flashback delay with self oscillation, and that's my like my basic tone, you know, the note. And after that, harmonizer for a melody, and I made a melody with harmonizer. Wow! And after that, modulation and a reverb just to spice things up, and it's like a new instrument without guitar. Guitar just <laughs> yeah. giving you the connect. Yeah, and you can really use pedals on anything. You know, yeah. on, the, on the panel the other night, we were someone asked the question about uh, about bass pedals on guitar or guitar pedals on, that, on yeah. bass. And to me, it's like it doesn't matter if the compressor is a guitar compressor or if it's a, a bass specific compressor yeah. or if a chorus or a phaser is tuned for guitar or bass. You can, there aren't any rules. Of course you, they, you can do yeah. whatever you want. And yeah. I think because there are no rules, that's why we still find new sounds. And, I, and for me, that's where how I was, we were also talking about originality. Yeah. It, it's going to be in the application of these things. How many people are going to put four of these things together on the floor and come up with a new sound? That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Sean. Thanks. Say Thanks, something guys. to end. Uh, pedals are great, and uh, if you're afraid of them, still try them out.